20 Hacker, formerly known as Romantic Hacker, follows the story of Park Jamin, a 20-year-old college student with bronze and brains. His father's company falls apart because of crackers. Um, these crackers, not, not these ones. And is found dead. Seeking revenge for his father's death, Jamin enters the underground world of cyber hackers with the help of a local college club, Better World, and his best friend and crush, Pak Juhi. I came across this film because of the soundtrack, specifically this song, not just friends, and I enjoyed it. But when I first discovered it back in April, the film was only available in theaters. This movie is now available on demand on Vicky, but despite it having a really amazing soundtrack and great chemistry between the leads, I recommend you avoid this film. Although we are given the premise of the film fairly early on, nothing really happens. In fact, the first hour of the film only introduces all the characters and establishes their relationships to each other. This will be fine in the Korean drama, but for a film, it's too slow. Most films either start off strong or establish what the main problem is within the first 30 minutes, and then work towards that goal. But because the story isn't sprinkled throughout the first half, the last half of the story aims straight for the finish line, giving out an unsatisfying experience as the plot unfolds. Several parts of the film don't flow very well. Because there's no story progression, it's hard to understand how doing one thing in one scene leads to another. There are also a lot of time skips going backwards and forwards, all to give a sense of surprise when the hackers reveal how they pulled off their master plan. But when they do this trick more than once, it kind of ruins the fun. It's not shocking anymore. We know the good guys won, so it loses its hype and excitement. There are several side characters throughout the film, but are only there to play a single role. It's clear they are dynamic and complex, but we aren't shown it. Chan Ho, the second male character, has a very detailed backstory and would serve as a great counterpart to the main lead. However, he is only shown and talked about from the two leads' perspectives, never from his own. Other two members of the Better World Club also have their own little quirks and charms, but their motive to want to create a better world through hacking is never explained. Despite the three reasons why you should avoid this film, I'd at least recommend giving the soundtrack a listen. And I don't mean just the title track song, but I mean the entire library they use throughout this film. The songs accompany their scenes very well, using mainly piano and ambient instruments, plus I'm a huge fan of the main theme song as it's appropriate for our two leads. The two leads steal the scenes when they are together. The portrayal of the bond between two childhood best friends is adorable, believable, and entertaining to see on screen. There's definitely a tug of war game going on between these two, no matter how much they deny it. Oh wait, maybe there should be a fourth reason to avoid this film. There's no kiss. I've heard rumors that this film is a prologue to a web drama that's supposed to be released soon. Hopefully that is true, because 20 Hacker has a great setup and premise for a drama with its ensemble cast of characters and their backstories that have yet to be explained. Have you seen it? What'd you think? Agree, disagree? Let me know what you think. Either way, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.